good segue. Please welcome Daisy Fuentes. Hey. How many snakes had to die for that dress? Not many. No, it's a small dress. Nice to see you. You just got back from uh, uh, MTV uh, Spring Break. That's right. How was it? Oh, and by the way, I just closed the restaurant in New York. Did you really? Yeah, it didn't just open. <laughs> it it just it opened and closed? <laughs> no, it opened a long time ago. It just closed. Right, you were I know, probably I know. reading the wrong bio. Yeah, I probably was. I can't believe you still have to read a bio on me. I mean, we've done this about a million times. I know, we have done this you quite often. You should know me so well by now. I know you very well, but a lot of that stuff I can't really talk about on the television <laughs> set. <laughs> Sure you can. Do you think? It's really late. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, my God. Thanks for reminding me. Mm. What was Spring Break like this year? Was it fun? Oh, God. You know, people talk about MTV going to these places and, right. and getting kicked out and MTV getting rowdy and, and being the bad guys. Yeah. Could I just tell you that these kids were scaring us? Really? They were really scary. How scary. old are these kids? 18, 19 years old? Uh, approximately, yeah, more or less. 16. Doing a little of this? Doing a little, a little uh, of that. They're just, you know, it's just, they let it all out. They, they really... <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You get these kids from, like, MIT. And, and these like... are probably really nice kids at home that are very sweet, that are, that, that are very quiet. Right. They get away for spring break for a week, and then they go completely nuts. I, I mean, it's about where you can throw up. <laughs> Basically, it's nuts. I mean, these kids were really Didn't crazy. you ever do that, though, when you were in school? Never. Didn't you, ever... you never I've went to spring never break? Been on my wildest, craziest dream of a crazy spring breaker. I have never, ever been like that or known anybody like that. These kids really? are nuts. It was Animal House in the entire town. What kind of stuff do they do now? <laughs> really? What kind of stuff do they do? I guess, um... Do they have the contest, the hot buns and the, the hot t-shirt? Hot buns, and the, hot uh, boobs, um, you, you name say, it. Say, say that hot again? crotch, boobs? Yeah, just the way you said it before. <laughs> hot boobs? <laughs> Oh, you're so silly, John. I know. I'm I miss sorry. you. What have you been up to? Me? Yeah. Uh, I've been working here as a janitor, and yeah, uh, I heard. they just, you know, they were in a pinch. Yeah. So they I threw heard. me in. But that's good. Yeah. I didn't get to go to Spring this Break again. this year. I was, I was going to go down, but I didn't. Have uh, you ever been on Spring Break? I was there once. I went there with, with MTV. I'd never been there before. And yeah. you're right. They're crazy. They're I was, uh, I won an erotic well, brand worse. eating contest, <laughs> which uh, it's for the older people. It's gotten worse. It's gotten worse. Brand crazy. eating contest. <laughs> it can be a little dangerous. <laughs> it is a little dangerous. Do you even like, you know, you're a huge MTV, like, goddess. Have you ever been in an MTV <laughs> online chat room? I've been in there, no. and the conversation is literally, Kurt Cobain rules, I love Nirvana, I want to have sex with Daisy Fuentes. <laughs> that's always, like, the third line. Well, that's very flattering. Do you, I'm sure they're no, very... No, really, it is. You know, it's quite a compliment. Have you been in there, like, playing on the online? Have you done that? Do you know what I have done? I've snuck in without letting anybody know that I was going to go on, so of course everybody thinks that it's not me. Right. And what is make... your... Do you have, like, a little computer handle? No. I go on my friend's computer. I don't even have a computer. I'm a computer illiterate retard. I, I have no clue. I don't even know how to turn the darn thing on, really. But There's I'm time. learning. There's time. No, I really think I should get one, and I go on my girlfriend's computer, and right. she hooks it all up so that I can read everything that everybody's saying, and every now and then I'll jump in, but they don't believe that it's me. Wait, so you actually go in and say, I'm Daisy Fuentes, and I take no, exception because, to that. No, because there's people that will ask me questions. I mean, you actually will Basically, go in there? Basically, yeah, because there's people that are asking me questions. Daisy, if you read this, blah, 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 blah. And then I'll answer it, but then they'll say something nasty back because they'll think it's somebody pretending to be me. People do pretend. I go on, actually, as a 14-year-old girl named Jennifer. <laughs> and, uh... Well, that's not very far from who you really are. Settle down! <laughs> It is, it is pretty, they download your picture. You have the record for the most downloaded picture on <laughs> no, America Online. It's, you, you hit a record. No, I didn't. You... <laughs> no, you did. You hit a record. Really? 30,000 downloads of your picture. Well, that's cool. Isn't that neat? Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's kind of cool. I didn't I know that. Exciting. I didn't know that. Really? Yeah. Just think of all the psychos in Idaho that have your downloaded <laughs> picture. <laughs> I'm sorry. How did this all happen? Did you start out as a model? Is this, or is this, you're, you're doing that now? I did so a little bit of TV mod. from the modeling? Or yeah. you got into, oh, Through okay. one of the fashion shows, I met somebody that was in television and hooked me up with an audition. Like a producer? Said, um, no, she was the wife of the president of Univision at the time. Univision is the, uh, the uh, Spanish, Spanish speaking station. Spanish network. Right. Yeah. And so they hooked you up with, uh, like a hosting gig? No, weather anchor position. Oh. 
You're not going to show that tape again, are you? No, I'm not going to show that tape again. Yes, you are. What, what, uh, uh, so you hosted Weather. <laughs> Did they ask you if you knew anything? Were you? What are you, you up ever, to? What are you getting out of here, John? What I'm John, getting what at is, have you at? ever? Were you ever? Had you been in a weather center before hosting Weather? <laughs> of course not. I have no clue. So you would sit up there and go, "It's sunny." I would. You would... <laughs> How would you explain the weather? I would listen to the radio and listen to what the real people had to say, and then I would just repeat it. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so you'd the radio on and just... Uh... On the way to work, I would turn the car radio on, and I would listen to what they had to say for the metropolitan area and go on TV and repeat it. But translate it into Spanish. <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah is that, that harder to do? Say something weather-like in Spanish. Spanish is a beautiful language. For instance, I am f fluent. Uh -huh. uh, uh, in that language, and uh, so say something. Ask say me the next question. The next in question in Spanish. Uh, Donde está la biblioteca? <laughs> biblioteca is French. Donde está la biblioteca? <laughs> is that you it? Know I really How do you say where is the library in Spanish? That's all I remember. That and está Susana in casa is Susana. Who was Susana? And she was the chick in the dialogues. I don't know. She was. <laughs> She was the girl that everyone wanted to know if she was home or not. Right. She must have been one happening to Molly, but she was... Right. Everyone was always, she you know... She must have been that, like the Sally character. She was, right. right. The, the Sally character was like uh, C, uh, Dick Run, right. and Spot. She was, right. but for the... Susanna. Spanish. Right. Hmm. You must have killed... Did you ever take, like... You, you came uh, uh, to the country, and were you fluent already? Because you came in from, what, Spain? You oh, lived yeah. in Spain. Oh, yeah, that was my first language. I didn't know English at all when I first came here. I was about nine, and... You had to go to school at first, and you didn't know English at I all? I didn't know a word. Were you in a town that had a good bilingual, you know, curriculum, or...? Newark, New Jersey, which... <laughs> easy! <laughs> what was so funny? He loves the sound Newark. <laughs> Newark is very... it's a melting pot. There's, there's a lot of Latin kids, there's a lot of um, right. Anglo kids, European kids. It's very mixed, so it was kind of cool, except that I came from Spain, and the Latin kids spoke Spanish, uh, I guess, m more street language, more Latin from Latin America, and I spoke the right. heavy Castilian with the heavy accent. And what would be the difference between Castilian and, and a Latin? Well, for example, to say shoes in, in Latino, you would say zapatos. Zapatos. Right. That sounds and, cool. And in Castilian from Spain, it would be zapatos. Zapatos, which is tapatos. completely different. Zapatos. Uh, that's the same thing. No, you're saying it with like a TH sound. Oh, the S is the TH. Right. So soup would be thoop. No. <laughs> No. I'm not saying I'm good at language. I'm just saying that I, I'm, I'm curious about this stuff. But it's, it's, it's interesting to me. I was never a very good student of language. How long did it take you to, to become comfortable well, in English? Well, I guess at that age, it was very easy. It took me about six months to really feel comfortable. How do you say we're going to take commercial in Spanish? Uh, vamos a unos comerciales. We're going to take a commercial. No, say it in no, Spanish. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. We'll be back with Daisy Fuentes. I can't, uh, I can't do that. Okay. And that's all you've got to confess? Th that's all, you know, since I've been here. Mm. Well, you know what? That beach confession sucked. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to remind you that tomorrow I'll be back from Waikiki Beach. Bitch. Hey, you guys, what's up here? We are in lovely Negril. <laughs> I can't even say it anymore. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm here with the lovely and talented Daisy Fuentes, uh, who, uh, 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 where'd you go to high school again? Harrison High. Harrison High. Uh, were you a popular kid? No. Really? No, I was a little antisocial. Really? Yeah. So you weren't like the homecoming queen or anything like that? Yeah, I was. Oh, really? You were a homecoming queen? <laughs> You know, they always talk that to that the most happened. unpopular no, girls. No, I really don't know how that happened. Really? really? I do. Yeah. I have uh, your yearbook, actually. Oh, no, you don't. So yeah, you always I do, have do that to me. Why do you always do that? Because I had your yearbook from years ago. The last ago, time I was on the show, when he had his career. show, he showed this god-awful clip from when I was doing the weather. I had hair out to here and acrylic nails out to here. Well, you guess what? god-awful days? You had it in high forget? school, too. <laughs> no, I had that Heather Locke Here she is, Can we get it? You were voted prettiest girl in your high school. Can you can you cut the shot of that thing? Look at that. So mysterious. I, I was also in your high school. What was I voted? Do, do we have my picture? I think I was voted uh, uh, biggest pimple. There it is. Uh, it's on the. Uh... Why do you always do this to me? That is so awful. I don't know. It was a lot funnier. How in can rehearsal. somebody try to be cool and look good with pictures like that around? I don't know because it shows how far you've come. I mean, we all have the embarrassing picture from high school. You should see my picture from high school. Well, I look why like, don't we show I your look picture like from a curly-haired nose. 
That's what I looked like in high school. Did I you had, have long hair? I had long, bushy, like Grand Funk Railroad hair. <laughs> and my head, it was like my nose grew out first, and then my head sort of filled in around it when I was in college. Uh -huh. So basically you saw like hair and two like big openings like this in my nostrils. <laughs> and I were you like funny in high school? A Jewish or you a Judd Nelson. I'm sorry? Were you funny in high school or were you a geek? I was a geek. A funny geek? Yeah. Did you have a girlfriend all through high school? You all look, through? I, not you even look, one. Doesn't he look like the kind... No, you look like the kind of guy that would have a girlfriend like freshman year and go out with her until you graduate. I did. I had a high school girlfriend freshman year. Of college! Oh. Oh! <laughs> no, awful. I was very short. I was about five feet tall and I, I, uh, I had a girlfriend senior year. I went out with a girl. How and tall took are her to the now? prom. How tall am I now? Yeah. I'm about six two. No, you're not. <laughs> five seven. Does that matter to you for a guy? Would you go out with a short guy? What's the shortest guy you ever went out with? Uh, not, mm, not very short, no. What I, do you I consider don't think, very short? I guess about a, uh, I guess about my height. What's your height? I'm um, five ten. <laughs> well, the minute I put heels on, I'm like six one. So that makes. I, I think it's. It has more to do with guys than, than with me. You think I guys think have a problem. With guys that? feel too short next to me. Right. So. Sitting down's cool though. Yeah. I mean that's uh, sitting yeah. down's fine. You know. Yeah. Do you have a boyfriend now? It. You have a boyfriend, right? Aren't you oh, going yeah. out with one of the guys from Menudo or? Uh, <laughs> no. New kids or something like that. What are you? Who are you no. going out with? A guy. A guy? Is He's he nice? a wonderful guy. Is he real? How long have you been going out with? Uh, about a year and a half. Really? But he, he sings? Yeah, to me. Does he really? Yeah. What does he sing to you? What did he, did he sing Anything to you? Anything I for... want. Is he like a jukebox? <laughs> what do you mean? No, he's just a really fabulous guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Honest. How about you? Who are you going out with? Uh, Remember when they said that Do you want her we real name out? or the name she dances under? <laughs> Remember when they said that you and I were going out? They did. They said. Do you was, remember that? How funny that was. It, it was yes, yeah, funny. <laughs> I don't. I don't I recall meant, uh, getting humor out of that. No, I meant you know funny that they thought that. Yeah. I mean not like. <laughs> no, not like it couldn't happen or anything. But. Come on. Now wait a minute. All right, let's back this up. <laughs> All right. You were, okay, it was in the star, and it said that, that you had fallen madly uh, yes. in love with me. And right. that you were actually flying... Uh, uh, Out to L.A. to watch your show being taped when it was being taped in New York. And okay, well, that was that. wrong. But, yeah. you know, <laughs> some of the other stuff could have been. I remember, <laughs> I remember people asking me about that, and I, was always, I would always be very mysterious about it. I'd be yeah. like, you know, yes, oh. we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's real mysterious, Jeff. No, I, wasn't, I wasn't doing that. But well, uh, you know who else they said you were going out with? Who? Tony Katain. Is that true that you were going out with her? What? Yes, Man. you guys heard it. It was all over. Like, I'm doing much better thing. in the newspaper. Yeah, no, really. Were no, you really? I have I have a lovely girlfriend in, in New York City. Her name is Tracy. She's lovely. Really? And she dances. She's, uh, she dances. She's three foot nine, but in heels. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a commercial break, and then I'm gonna try and get her drunk. Uh, we'll be right back after that. Why care about the First Amendment? Because it gives all of us the right to express our opinions. Should books be banned from school libraries? Do t-shirts have freedom of speech? What about your right to protest? In music, should it carry a warning label? The First Amendment. Think about it. Talk about it. Because talking about the First Amendment means talking about freedom. That was a public service announcement. Yes. That was uh, the First Amendment public service announcement. Yep. Uh, have you been doing a lot of the PSA type things? Um, I have a really hard time turning some of those things down. You know, it's right. sort of like the part of the job that's just a labor of love. I, I mean, right. I just want to do a lot of them. And the latest thing that I've gotten involved with is um, the AIDS Walk, right. um, presented by Tanqueray. And it's, it, the first one was a few years ago from San Francisco to Los Angeles, and it raised like over $6 million, which was the biggest AIDS fundraiser. And since then, they've added... Um, they walked from San Francisco to Los Angeles? On a Angeles. bike. No, it was oh, bike, bike rides. Run. right. It's the, right. the AIDS ride. And it's really cool because those people, I mean, they're, they're, they're physically getting involved in doing something about right. it. And it's just, it's an, it's an amazing thing. I mean, I, this is my first year getting involved in it, but I've seen the tapes of everything that they've done Well, it seems like for, for celebrities, it's, it's the least you can do, you know, because there's people working in there in the trenches, I imagine, day in and day out, yeah. actually working to fight it. And if yeah. they ask you to just lend your name, yeah. And that'll actually do something. Yeah. Exactly. Why not? Exactly. And that's really what it takes to get awareness and to get the press to come and cover it and to get people to know what is happening What's and how it is on. that they can help. It's with all this going way. on, are you having a harder and harder time just fitting in with uh, general society? Like when you go out, is it a whole big deal now? And no, it depends. Yeah. It depends on what I look like. It depends on what I'm doing. If do I'm you disguise working, yourself? I'm taping. No. You've never done that? No, that's silly. 
No, because most of the time when people do recognize yeah. me, it's okay. Why? No, no. You I disguise saying, yourself? No, nobody gives a crap when I walk out. <laughs> that never matter. I can walk outside naked right now. People are like, naked guy. No, they wouldn't no, even care. No, well, no, nobody gives a crap when I walk out either. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, man, I wouldn't think that. Especially in, you know, in, when you go to the city. Especially in Miami. You must go crazy yeah, in Miami. it depends. It depends on where I am and, and what I'm looking like. I'm just in the mall with my hair in a ponytail. Very few people will actually recognize me. And when they do, they just come up to me and say hello, so it's pretty cool. You know what's the funny thing I saw in your yearbook? It said Daisy Fuentes, and underneath it, it said Daisy. As though your nickname was <laughs> Daisy. Yeah, well, it is. But your name was... Daisy's your real name, right? Yeah, you can call me Daisy. <laughs> what does everyone else call you? Daisy. So that's nothing special. I mean, no, can I, can really. I call you Day? That's not special, John. That's dumb. How about Buttercup? That's cute. Okay. That's right. cute. Well, it's very nice. We, we're going to have to take another commercial break. Am I correct about that? We're going to take another commercial break, and we'll come back with Daisy for you. We're back with Daisy Fuentes. Uh, we talked about uh, the modeling, the commercials, the PSA, the, the MTV. Mm -hmm. One other aspect of your uh, uh, blossoming career, acting. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be acting. I'm going to try and see if it works or not. What are you, what are you doing? Um, I had a supporting role on this movie called Curdled. Um, it was Curdled? Starring, yeah, like Curdled, like Bad Milk. Sure. Only it was pertaining to blood, I think. And sure. It's, it's kind of a freaky movie. Um, starring Billy Baldwin, Angela Jones, and executive produced by Quentin Tarantino. So it's, excellent it's start. That style of a and that's your first movie role. Yeah, that'll be. That's yeah. was it a lot. Have you already taped it? Yeah, it's all done. And I don't know it? when it's coming out. We we're, we're not really sure if it's. Gonna you don't die in it, right? It's not, it's not like a. Is it a violent no. movie? Yeah, it is. It is a violent movie. But nobody messes I with play, you. I play. I play a post forensic cleaning maid. <laughs> I go into the apartments after the murder has taken place and clean the blood off the apartment stuff. Post forensic cleaning maid. Yeah. Wow. And what kind of outfit do they wear? Do they wear like a gas station? No, they wear like it? they wear they would wear overalls. They would wear regular clothes and then put like the no, overalls see, and were, gloves and masks well, and everything. What producer would put you in overalls? For God's <laughs> sakes. I'd be a like post forensic one. cleaning maid, little frilly white hat, little black bag. Yeah, right. And garter belt. Maybe you should produce a movie sometime. <laughs> I think I will. You know, there's a good idea. Why don't we do something together? Why I don't would we like come to up do that. with like our own you know, like Regis and Kathy Lee kind of show? Like, it should be us. That would be tremendous. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll discuss it over a bottle of Jack. Cool. Uh, Daisy Fuentes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So nice to see you. See you later on Later. Bye-bye.